Watch out heaven, cause here I come And now, storm the gates, cause we have won Boldly, before your throne I'm coming I love that he says So Gideon built an altar there to the Lord And called it The Lord is peace Amen How many know, man, that when God comes and confirms his promise and his presence shows up in our lives, there's going to be a peace that surpasses all understanding in our lives. You know what I mean? Whatever we think that we can figure out, you know what I mean? That peace and that presence, you know what I mean? You know, the power of, of, of the Holy Spirit will just dissolve and like, you know, that stuff just goes away. I was listening to a song this morning and it's Take Courage. You know, and in that song there's a few verses that were powerful. And, and, and she starts talking about in, in that peace, in that secret place, that there's like, you know, there's healing. And that there are like supernatural things that happen. See, when we get into that secret place, in the presence of God, and we begin to trust, when we begin to get in that place of worship and true worship before God, right? You mean, things happen in the supernatural. I believe when we step into that realm, into that glory, all around us steps in with us. It isn't like, you know, the presence coming here and invading here. It's like us, the presence is already there because the Bible says he's everywhere. So picture this, the presence of God is everywhere, but then we access the presence. We step in behind the veil, but when we step in behind the veil, how many know that we bring all of ourselves, all of our promises, all of our loved ones, and everything with us into that veil? Yes. Yes. The ideal at times is that we're going to command the blessing and we're going to bring and usher the presence in when it's already here. And it's not that we need to bring God here, it's that we need to step into Him. Hallelujah. And when we step into Him, everything, all my flaws, my brokenness, my pains, my hurt, come into the presence with Him. Yes. And how many know when our brokenness is in the presence of God, things start getting set in order. Amen. Things start changing and shifting. Amen. And so many times we're trying to work out all our issues in the flesh. And then we use the presence just to comfort us instead of control and shape and build and purify, hello, and shift and change the very atmosphere of our issues and our problems and our brokenness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bing, the light just came on, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh. Mm -hmm. Man, I need to be in that place. I need to be where that peace is at. Because when I try to work everything else out over here, I jack it all up. But when I'm there in that secret place, in that place where only He and me and, and, and His goodness and His mercy is there, and I bring all my, my pains and my brokenness, and I bring a whole bag full of stuff into that, all of a sudden the Lord says, what you got in the bag? Papa's all my trash. I'll go get rid of it and I'll come back, okay? I'm sorry I brought all this junk into your presence, Lord. Forgive me for bringing my brokenness and my hurt and my pain and my sins and everything into your presence. I'll go and put it away and I'll come back. And the Lord said, no, 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 no. You know, it's okay, Mijo. Let me see what you've got in the bag. And the Lord comes and he let really gently opens the bag and he's like look at inside and he'll look at me and he'll look in there and I'll be like all embarrassed you know huh I mean know what I'm saying we're like no Lord don't look in that bag my sins are in that bag too my failures are in that bag my marriage is in that bag my children are in that bag and the Lord's just looking at that and he's like and every once in a while he'll look up at me and just smile and I'm like, <laughs> he looks in that bag and he says, and he closes it and gives it to me. And he, you know, and I grab the bag and I hide it. You know what I mean? I put it behind me and then I start worshiping him, you know? How I many know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
and I'm worshiping him, you know, and then time, you know, like stops for a minute, and then I'm done, and then I leave, and I get my bag, and I take it with me, and I leave the presence of God, you know. But what's crazy is that, you know, many times when I take that bag with me, almost as a burden that I, that I keep carrying, you know, I'll go and I'll walk into the flesh and I'll look in the bag and I'll... It's empty. Amen. It's empty. All my junk, all my shame, everything is... It was in that bag. It's gone. Watch out heaven, cause here I come and now storm the gates, cause we have won. Boldly before your throne, I'm coming.